of you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi welcome and if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join my lovely family what's up you guys oh my god i feel like i haven't filmed a video in so bloody long i know i've been mia ghosting from youtube and i know it's just because you know guys it, i've been having a lot of troubles and i just haven't filmed anything so i'm really sorry i was away and as you guys know because of this whole situation that's happening where everyone's locked down i don't really have an excuse not to film anything right now so i thought this is the perfect opportunity to kind of get back in my flow of doing stuff um so yeah, let's update guys on what's going on in our lives right now. So basically, I'm stuck at home. I've been in quarantine, quarantine? I've been in lockdown for two weeks now. Anyways, um, I kept thinking like what kind of video I should film for you guys. And I asked you guys what you wanted to see and a lot of you guys said cooking videos. So I was like, cool, I can do that. Or what I do in a day during quarantine life. So my idea is to make a series for you guys. So I've written down seven different countries. And basically every day I kind of spin a wheel to see what country it lands on. And then I ask you guys like what cuisine or what type of dish I should make from that country. So yesterday I did the thing and it landed on China. So I asked you guys. So today I'll be making orange chicken and a lotus root side dish with some rice so from china for you guys and i'll show you guys how i make that and also this video is just kind of going to be like what i do in a day sort of um i don't really do much guys so right now i think it's like 3 p.m right so i slept in obviously because i have nothing to do and my sleep patterns off so basically right now i've just kind of woken up brushed my teeth washed my face but my skin has not been feeling the love guys i don't know if you can see i don't know if you can see how bad my skin is right now so we're gonna do a face mask right and you're gonna join me in that process of doing a face mask and then we're going to clean up a little bit and then we're gonna make brunch because i haven't eaten anything yet it's because i just kind of woke up so let's get to this. This is one person who destroyed my house. Isn't that right? One person that destroyed my house. Where's your accomplice? He was over here. This is the other accomplice who also destroyed my house. I don't know if you guys have met Momo yet. He's my new addition to my family. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know who he is. He's getting quite old now. He's getting quite big. But, I mean, look at it, guys. This whole street is bloody empty. And there's still people out, like, shopping. You see, like, nobody out, guys, apart from some cars. And you can just see how dirty the outside of my window is. Great. Guys, let's not even get into how bad my room looks right now. Like, I don't know if you can see this corner, like, this mess. I put some clothes that need to be washed. And all the shit that's on the floor is because of these cats pulling them down. So I got this cute little hairband, put that on, move our hair out of the way guys, I mean but come on guys, how cute is this, like can we just, right, so I've been thinking like what mask to do and I think I'm going to go for the rice mask by Skin Food. I actually really love this mask guys they're so great just use a brush it's quite like gloopy it's quite tight <gasps> it is cold
okay here we go guys so it's not like amazing but i just did a quick clean so just cleared my desktop made my bed just cleared up the table and such i haven't hoovered the floors or anything like that guys because i'm gonna do a proper clean of this room later on this week so i'm gonna reorganize everything but yeah just so you guys can get a general idea of <laughs> what it looks like Okay guys, so right now I'm just making this um, wicked coffee that I saw trending on like TikTok and Instagram and it looks so good. So it's just two parts coffee, two parts sugar and two parts water and you just kind of whisk it together until it's a foam and then you just add it to some milk and that's about it. So it should look like this which is like stiff peaks. And here I'm just trying to break these ice cubes, guys. <laughs> adding some milk and just adding it on top pretty much. And that's about it. And just kind of seeing how this is going to come out and taste. Right, so now I'm just going to do my normal skincare routine, you guys. I'm just going to quickly whiz through it. If you want a list of products that I use, they'll be in the down bar below. Or you guys can check out my previous videos as well. And you guys can get like a better look of my skin and how it looks like after the mask. You can still see my dark circles, guys. Like this is the result of me just not being able to sleep for god knows two weeks now properly like my sleep pattern is so messed up guys i've been sleeping at like five o'clock in the morning zoom in i mean not too bad not too shabby but yeah guys like natural look going on here i mean <laughs> So morning skincare done or lunchtime or whatever you want to call it guys. So let's go get some coffee now. Okay guys, I literally just sat down and I'm finally going to try it. And I'm just trying to stir the foam into the milk. But guys, I'm such a klutz. I actually ended up spilling some on myself, which is great. <laughs> but guys, it actually tastes so good. I shit you not like this stuff was so good and so easy to make and i literally just kept trying to sip it and mix it together because the foam was really thick maybe i added too much foam but you can just see me sipping it and then for my lunch i just got some rice and coconut prawn curry that i made the night before and this is what i just kind of had for my lunch so as you can see and i'm just watching some tv and watching big bang and my cat's just laying on the floor <laughs> Right guys, so we're getting straight into it. So first you need a chicken thigh and diced and then we're getting some orange juice, some vinegar, some soy sauce, some sugar and some garlic, pepper and chili powder. And the recipe will be listed in the descriptions below guys for you guys to follow. And I'm just adding some chili sauce just for taste and just mix it together. This is going to be the sauce for your chicken to make the orange chicken. So just give that. So you're going to need a Ziploc bag, you guys, and you just want to place the diced chicken in the bag and only pour three quarters of the sauce into the bag because you want to save the other quarter to actually make the sauce after. You're going to mix the chicken around and let it sit and marinate for 30 minutes, guys. So while that's chilling on the side, we're going to make our lotus root, guys. So you, you just want to mince a garlic and now you want to add some soy sauce. Again, the measurements will be in the down bar below for you guys. And then you want to add some salt. Some vinegar. And some oil. 
and you want to give that a good mix and leave this on the side because this is going to be your sauce for the Kung Pao lotus root guys so this is the lotus i had bought a frozen bag and i just kind of defrosted it but they were too thick so i'm just using my knife to slice them in half because you kind of want them thin and crispy because they're just going to be a side dish so i'm just going to slice all of them right through the middle you just want to make sure you heat up a pot of oil and then place them in and just let them fry up a little bit Right, so while that's frying, our 30 minutes up, guys, so the chicken's pretty much done. So what you want to do is break an egg. You can use as many eggs as you need, but I just started off with one. And you just want to whisk that down and add some flour in a separate bowl. And what you're going to do is start coating the chicken in a layer of egg first and then a layer of flour. You guys can use cornstarch as well, but I've just ran out of cornstarch for this video, guys. So I'm just substituting with flour but if you have cornstarch go ahead and do that and I'm just going to fill up the whole plate of chicken right so now you want to take out your lotus root once it starts getting a little bit brown and crispy so you can go ahead and remove that and add whatever layer so now I'm just gonna start frying up my chicken and just make sure you let it cook on one side guys and it's really important to then start flipping it over so it doesn't burn and it fully cooks through so in a separate pan guys you want to heat some oil and add your garlic we're going to make the kung pao lotus root give it a good mix and just kind of let it cook through in the oil and for me i just added some chili flakes to the dish you guys can make this as spicy as you like so that's an option for you you can add more peppercorns or whatever you like i just added some chili flakes now i'm adding in my sauce and just kind of mixing it through and then what you want to do is just to add the crispy lotus root at the end and just mix it through with the sauce guys Right now we're just moving on to making the actual sauce for the orange chicken. So this is the leftover batter that we had that we made earlier and I'm just adding some extra chili sauce for some taste and you just want to let that simmer and let it thicken and then just add some cornstarch to the mixture to actually get it nice and thick so you can add your chicken in once it looks like this guys you can see it's thickened a lot just add your fried chicken in and give it a good mix yep and that's it guys it was so simple and it came out looking so good and not to mention it tasted so delicious as well and i hope you guys found the recipe easy and enjoy it thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up you guys and if you're not subscribed to me already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and join my lovely family don't forget to turn my notification bell on you guys so you get notified every time i upload a new video go follow me on my social media links which will all be listed in the down bar below as well and i will see all you lovelies in my next video Yeah.